Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stomp Whisperer here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for February 16th, Tuesday. Hope everybody had a wonderful three-day weekend uh, and ready to get back to trading. Well, it looks like the SPY is uh, at a major level this morning, 395. Those $5 increments are really powerful. So the first time we hit it, sellers are lined up, as you can see and they knocked it down the second time. Yep, that's what we wanna watch out for. So watch out for that 395 level to the upside. We did have a new dark pool level, should have underlined that, on Friday, 390.76, 6.2 million. We are above them all right now, which is still bullish. Let's go to the IWM. IWM, we are going to be bullish above 230, another big level. So we have an interesting situation today. We have these big levels above us. The Qs, we have 340 above us. But the retracement trades were a little bit rough. There were a lot of pivots. There wasn't some of them really difficult. So it could be a little bit choppy today unless we really clear these major levels above us. Yep, that's a path of least resistance, but they are major levels where big guys will be loaded to sell. So it's an interesting day. Uh, to watch. So IWM 230 above and 226.40. And you know, I really had to go, I had to go low on this as I'm going to show you why, right? Look at all these. We had R1. We have all these Camarillas traffic lights. We're just going to get zapped in that area, zapped in this area. So that's, this is what I'm talking about, right? The coast is clear here. Here we got a clear coast, but there's a pretty big no trading zone. So bullish above 230, but watch that 230.40. So this is kind of what I'm, I'm talking about. And, and that was probably one of the toughest ones to map out. Kudos for you guys trying in the, in the Java pit this morning. Um, so it'll, we'll see what it does. The QQQs was pretty similar to, uh, so again, bullish above 339.25. In this case, 340 will be a, a big sell area. Bear below 336.80. Let's head on over to the E-minis. Bullish above 39.55, bear below 39.39. We've got the NASDAQ futures, bullish above 13.950, bear below 13.825. Crude oil next. I actually read this morning. Yeah, so we had a pullback here on the oil futures back to the 4 EMA. Is it going to bounce or is it going to come down to the um, 8 EMA, which is what it did last time before it took a bounce. So that's kind of what I'm watching this morning for those guys. That's, uh, we'll be bullish above 60.25. Kind of wanted to avoid this peanut butter and jelly on the chart right there. Um, and we'll be bearish below 59.50 for that retracement trade. Let's head on over to the gold futures which are hitting targets on the downside. Yep, right now we just hit this uh, 1803.20. All right, so watch 1802.50 for a next level to enter here. Uh, bullish above 1825. Let's go to Bitcoin because that is where the action is at. We hit the big 50 thousand level you know there's going to be traders loaded to sell and i was just sharing this with the java pit brian in the uh, java pit trading room snap this picture you guys so amazing we, we look for this we train for this here's a huge seller at fifty thousand two hundred and eighty eight coins i'll be teaching all about this in the upcoming uh class um so stay tuned for that on saturday but yep we like to watch the Bitcoin futures while we're trading Bitcoin as well. This gives us a huge edge. Um, this morning I was bullish above 50,000 and it looks like we hit um, quite a few targets on that. I would watch it again though. Yep, watch it again. We kind of up thrusted on that 51,000 level. There below 48,500 for Bitcoin. All right, futures. Let's go to individual stocks. 
PLTR getting knocked down this morning. Retracement trade to the upside, bull above 31. And bear below 29.50. We've already gone below that, which is why I send these out individual in the morning. Uh, next level, watch this 28.50 or 28.25 for another entry and then 28. Let's go to uh, BP. BP had these uh, uh, unbelievable dark pool prints last week. This has been in the dark pool insights. Uh, so hope you guys are in this trade. It closed per, this was the perfect swing textbook. Higher volume, closing strong above the eight, above the print. So hope you guys got into this one. Uh, bullish above 23.50 for a day trade. If you're not in, yeah, we still have great trade setups or we could have a retracement trade on this. 23 down to 22.50 or bullish above. We could go all the way to the VWAP. Volume weighted average price. Let's go to CCL. Nice, Patty's in it. Awesome, Patty. Yeah, love it. Absolutely loved it last week. Um, CCL, bullish above 21.50 today. Yeah, so we have this uh, trend line that I've drawn. Look what they did, they're very sneaky. They tried to break it out and then they pulled it back in. So that's why that is a key level. Let's see if they can bring it above there. Um, if it really wants to go ahead there. They were faking us out this morning. So CCL bullish above 21.50, bear below 21.20. And Mara. Mara hot today off the crypto, off the Bitcoin rally. We are going to be bullish above 44, bear below 42 for a retracement trade. Riot. Also hot, bullish above 58. Or even 57.50, when I mapped this trade out, we were up here, so I had to do 58. Yep, I always have to go above where it's where it's at. You know, but after we pull back, that's why it's really important to learn how to do this yourself. Um, there's other levels, as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, but 57.50 would be a key level. And then we are on to the retracement trade right now, though, 56. If we go lower, then there'll be other levels to enter on the long side. Again, as long as you know how to do these yourself. Silver, bullish above 25.50. Also tried to break out this morning. Didn't quite fill in the gap though. It went 25.95. So watch it on the next push up if it, if it can push up. 25.50, bear below 25.19. All right, Wells Fargo had a 5 million print on Friday. So we are definitely on to this one. Bullish above 34.25 and bear below 33.25. Could be splashing right now, but we'll trade it level to level. TSM had dark pull activity a couple weeks ago. This has been in my insights. I know Andrew took a trade on this. Um, bullish above 142, bear below 140 for TSM. Lots of volume pre-market today. FCX also has a lot of volume pre-market today. We're going to be bullish above 3306 because there was a Camarilla there. And bear below 32 for a retracement trade. And C-A-N, Dave, E-Man. E-Man called this one out this morning. Bullish above 16 and bearish below 15. All right, you guys, hope you had a great weekend and looking forward to getting back to trading today. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.